Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial in digital painting on the Ibis Paint X application. The next step is to show you what's called the force fade option. So press on the same options icon here, turn the stabilizer on and go to force fade with your brush. It enables us to have lines with pointed tips on both ends which are similar to one another. First we're going to turn the force fade off and to do so you press on the options button, go to fade and turn the toggle off. Then we draw a line as practice and then we're going to turn the toggle back on to draw another line and we'll see how it fades the line at each end. See how the two ends of the lines look. The two ends are completely different here. On the toggle on, they are pointed. On the toggle left, they are the same size. Zooming in with the same finger shortcut I showed you earlier, you can compare the two lines. The next option on the force fade section is length of start and end. We're going to reduce the first one, then draw a line from right to left. Look closely to see how the line will look. So we're drawing a line with 0% at the length of start. Now we bring the length of start to 100 and put the length of end to 0% as you can see. And we're going to draw the line from right to left. This is how the line will look. Next we're going to go back to the lower toolbar to tap on the second option from the right called the layers. And tapping on the plus sign here opens up more layers and you can add as many as you like by tapping on the next option right to the right of the plus sign you can copy the same layer multiple times look at my hand movements please and select the options just like me adding multiple layers easily in this way the next sign on that toolbar is the camera sign this enables us to add pictures we want to the program. The next two options will give us the opportunity to flip the layer upside down or from right to left and vice versa. This is how the option works. Look at my hand movements please. If we ever wanted to move our layers from here to there, we hold the three lines on the right of the layers and drag them where they need to be. And if we do not want a layer anymore, we can remove it by tapping on the bin. And the bin is located here. We can also use the same option to delete the extra layers we have here. It happens that we have different layers. We do not want to erase them, but we do not want them to be on our canvas either. So we can use the eye icon on the left of the layer. Then you can hide it. We can turn it back on the same way whenever we need it. One more thing we can do with the layers is merging them together. We can use this on different occasions. For instance, when we have too many layers, all we have to do is use the option above the bin. So to do so, you press the button above the bin and this will merge the layers together all the different layers will be merged into one layer without having to erase anything. So we manage the layers we have over here and erase the ones we do not want over here. Going back on the upper toolbar, we're going to open this part by simply tapping on it. Here. This is the drawing tool. We have some geometric shapes we can use for drawing. We're going to change our brush and adjust its size and opacity like we have learned before. And then we're going to select the circle and go back to the canvas. We start drawing like this. So this is how we draw a perfect circle. Now if we want to fill this circle, we have two options. The first is through using this option called the bucket, which we select and then simply click on the circle like so. 
We can select the color we want from the lower toolbar by tapping on the third option from the left which has a square shape. Select the color, tap on the circle again and you see the color changes here to red. Now we're going to change it back to black so we press on that square again, follow my hand movements and simply fill the layer again with the bucket. The second option we have to fill our layer when we are drawing is this one that we will go through one more time. So go through the drawing tool again, activate the fill option we have down below and you can simply choose the color like this. All we have to do is draw the shape as we have already chosen the color and activate the fill option. So this is how the circle would look when we've pressed the fill toggle button. Immediately filling the part while we are drawing. This is how you change the color from the same place. Look at my hand movements as I do this. Go through the same steps as me. We can easily draw circles with different colors in this way. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Make sure you send me all your questions please and I'll see you in other lessons. Bye for now.